Hello everybody, thank you so very much for being here watching my channel Ivan Atero. This is weekly astrology for all 12 astrological signs for both female and for male people starting with uh, dates January 8th till January 14, 2017. Now, 10 days ago I told you there is something very very special celestial event on, um, uh, on uh, Sky. And I will talk a little bit basically about what is going on. This is very, 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 very important what basically is going on. Now, this is exact conjunction between Sun and Pluto. Serious time for testing, but also quite very serious time if we are talking for love uh, relationship because this is directly uh, communication between a man and a woman which are uh, meeting once again in this uh, life but basically you already know each other from previous life so stay with me because we have so many things you know to discuss so I will start with this Sun and a Pluto uh, exact conjunction conjunction in the sign of Capricorn and I would call if I need to choose like a keyword uh, testing time testing testing time for what this is ultimate good which is the Sun versus ultimate you know bad ugly and dangerous which basically is represent in in the Pluto so this is your strength this is your willpower versus or against your weaknesses of any kind inside of you okay so this is testing time now how that could be related with your love life i will explain to you so stay with me we have stellium in the sign of pisces maybe you already know that we have venus mars neptune Chiron, South Node, all in the sign of Pisces. And you already know that sign of Pisces, this is your 12th house in astrological chart. This is a, a something which is basically hidden, but this is also past life connection. Most likely this is your ex-spouse, uh, wife of your husband coming directly uh, in these uh, seven days during basically this uh, week and you will have opportunity to meet this person female or male depends on your gender now past life this is also a rousing of question about fate hope God meaning of life to whom I can trust do you love me are you going to stay with me for better or for worse this is only like one picture there is a lot of picture when it comes how you can translate a, a planet a language astrology astrological a language I will give you a few a keywords so basically everything depends where you are stands just you know now how old you are how young you are are you single are you coupled and you know uh, list goes on and on and on so Monday we will start this uh, week Monday 8th of January with the moon in a sign of Taurus uh, don't forget we have Sun in exact conjunction with Pluto a 17th degree in a sign of Capricorn I will repeat ultimate good versus ultimate bad this is also energy like now or never also many many people both female and male you will say for someone he is my everything this is also burst of energy uh, you need to uh, not to follow energy but to shape this energy because this is very 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 powerful and very serious also this stellium in your in the sign of Pisces which basically is 12th house this is typical typical picture of uh, nurse working in a hospital nurturing a patient now 
you may fall in love with this patient and this patient may fall in love with you. This is a typical, typical astrological uh, picture when it comes, you know, for, for love uh, relationship. So this is not... Uh, this is not um, everyday, maybe, you know, picture. And I know, I know that many, many people, you already have this picture in your natal birth chart. So this is Venus next to Mars, um, uh, next to Neptune, next to uh, Chiron. But also, please don't forget, there is South Node. So whoever this person might be, in any type of awkward uh, situation that basically you need to help out this person or basically that he or she may help you out from some nasty uh, circumstances or any kind of situation then you need to realize this typical uh, picture have uh, have a power of being you know trapped so think during this week if you are single you also can be attached you know being married but also you need to uh, you need to confront with these energies i will repeat once again strength and willpower versus your weaknesses inside of you to say yes or to say no and to be quite very very aware is this positive relationship for you or not so, we also have during this Monday, Moon uh, being in a trion with the Sun. Also, Moon, trion, Pluto. This is big power. Power of your soul and power of your being, you know, aware. Also, when it comes to your job, to your career, because this Sun conjunction with Pluto is happening in a sign of Capricorn. So you need, you need to put on test your willpower. If you have like a very special dream or new path that you want to follow, you need to use your willpower like never ever before. Ain't gonna be easy. Ain't gonna be easy. But now this is such a beautiful, beautiful and good time, good time to basically <clears throat> uh, to prove yourself that you are good enough, that you are strong enough that you are smart enough, that you are wise enough. Basically, this is you uh, preaching maybe even to other people. I can do that. How come you do not trust in me? Because I am positive. I'm 100% positive. I can do that, whatever it is. Now, on Tuesday, we have Moon placed in a sign of Gemini. This is very, very good for love. This is good for artistry. This is good for inspiration. How come? Because Moon will square Venus and also Moon will square Neptune. So this is very, very, very look like, like a feminine uh, energy, soft energy. And you want to indulge someone or, or you want to indulge in some type of situation. This is, this is a female person. This is basically women asking a question asking a question now answer will come on wednesday this is 10th of january because we have very very powerful male masculine energy moon squaring mars moon sextiling uranus and sun uh, squaring uranus and this is basically the answer coming from a man this is masculine energy very very bold energy very bold ideas and this is men giving you an answer yes i will take care of you yes i will stay for better or for worse do you remember what i told you past life uh, love uh, connection and reconnection faith hope uh, can i trust you can i trust you uh, do you love me and are you going to stay with me for better or for worse and this is Wednesday. This is men giving you an answer. Yes, I will stay with you. Maybe this story basically is, you know, a little bit, you know, complicated. Maybe it is. Who knows? But nothing in this uh, uh, life basically is, you know, simple. And this is not all. Uh, 
We have so many things which are going on in only seven days in our life. So stay with me. Thursday, Mars, uh, sextiling Pluto. This is a big, 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 big push. This is almost aggressive energy. Uh, if you want to pursue especially your career, then you need to push. You need to push yourself, but also for some people, you need also to push, you know, somewhere basically if you want to help someone this is basically a push someone behind his or her back but also during this thursday we have a uh, quite very beautiful moon trining venus and this is beautiful beautiful this is beautiful day uh, this is beautiful day for for love um friday this is 12th of january we have the full moon in a sign of cancer um, this is so powerful full moon uh, like um, like no other full moon uh, recently let me put it let me put it uh, this way also moon is in opposition with the Pluto I can see many 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 fears and anxieties because this is resistance this is opposition moon versus Pluto this is fear of some kind, you know, and at this point I want to uh, say something. Uh, maybe you already watched my video about, um, I put uh, a name, a title, Demonic Love. Uh, if you did not watch this uh, video of mine, please find this video. Uh, title is Demonic Love. Uh, because uh, during these seven days you will have opportunity to meet this type of person who is very 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 powerful this person is directly somehow connected with your past life this uh, person most likely a man is so so full of his willpower and uh, especially ladies uh, take care if you can feel that this man basically can uh, uh, can eat all of your willpower then believe me this person is not good for you believe me it is not so at this point while we have the full moon in the sign of cancer and cancer basically is very you know feminine uh, tender uh, energy when basically you putting your life especially if you are women you putting your life your, your confidence everything who you are you putting in the in the hand of uh, other people uh, not other people but other person and this of course could be dangerous so you also need you need to have your own willpower because you are responsible for your power don't ask that someone basically is responsible for you this is not good and this is not healthy all i'm saying you know i'm trying to give you a key words basically what you can expect maybe not all of you because this is you know a general reading everything depends who you are how old you are and what what uh, planets basically you have in a natal birth chart but all I'm saying, you know, could happen. Sun is uh, squaring Jupiter. This is also energy of tension. This is also action. This is big, 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 big plans. And many people, you will have opportunity finally to leave house for house uh, of your dreams. To leave house of your parents and basically to start living with the man of your dream also could happen but there is something else there is something else which basically is uh, involved in this in this story okay we have a grand cross sun pluto in a sign of cancer a full moon in a sign um, uh, excuse me in a sign of capricorn opposition full moon in a sign of cancer we have aries in a sign of aries and we have Jupiter in the sign of Libra, and this is Grand Cross. Now, big, 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 big kind of underlying question is this. What is your job? Sun in, uh, being in conjunction uh, with the Pluto in the sign of Capricorn. And in opposition, Moon, full Moon in the sign of Cancer. What is your job? Your job is your family many people can't understand that your family is your job 
I'm not saying that you need to resign. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. But money is not all. We all need money to pay bills. But you can't put your career in front of your family. Not that you can't, you can do with your life basically whatever you want. But these aspects uh, on uh, sky above our heads is trying basically to remind you your family is your job. Also, this is breaking through with some kind of old routine. Uh, many, 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 many people, because we live in the 21st century, we tend to put our children aside because we have career, we have job, first job, second one, third one, and you know, like never ever enough of money. And who basically is suffering? Our kids. So your family is your job. Of course, this is only my interpretation. Maybe you can interpret, you can translate these celestial uh, events on some other manner but this is my story this is my story okay uh, Saturday January 13th now moon is placed in a sign of Leo no aspect because we have quite a very important and not very easy aspects to cope with now we need to take you know uh, care about ours uh, ourselves we need to have fun. This is beautiful, beautiful day, Saturday and also Sunday, you know, to release all those tensions. Uh, you know, this is uh, this weekend basically is made for, you know, for leather, to go out, to mingle with your friends and basically to meet someone, especially if you are single. Now, Sunday, Moon is uh, trying uh, Uranus also very good and this is basically out of the blue you can meet someone also moon is a uh, sex styling jupiter and this moon is uh, in a sign of leo this is a typical picture hand in hand now that basically you finally realize that you are in love he is in love or her for that matter this is hand in hand now you know that you can trust to this person for better or for worse. So try to understand this week. This is testing time. Strength and willpower of your own versus someone else's or basically strength or willpower inside of you versus weaknesses inside of you. Uh, this is important week because God and spiritual world will put us on testing. Are you indulging once again other people and putting yourself, you know, to not be a priority in your life? Now, I really tried to give you a couple of stories. Uh, of course, you can't go through all of those stories, but believe me, one of those stories are going to be yours. Now that you know that this person will stay with you for better or for worse, now, Saturday and Sunday, you basically can enjoy in arms of, you know, of your spouse, of your wife, husband, of your current partner. For some of you could be, you know, totally, totally new person. So this week is going to be very, 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 very important for all of us. Testing time for your career, testing time for your friends, testing time, especially for those uh, people who are going to be directly connected with your past love partner. So be very, very careful, especially for this stellium, which I already mentioned, Venus, Mars, Neptune, Chiron, and a south node. Maybe you already learn from this person basically everything that you need to learn now you are full of your strength but now you need to prove to whom to yourself that you love yourself that you that you appreciate yourself and that, that you can't give you know uh, any more because you are already exhausted of giving yourself to 
other people. Now, this is typical story of clingy, 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 very, very clingy. Someone who basically wants that you nurture again, again, and again from your previous life to this life to your next incarnation. And basically, you need to be powerful enough as a woman or maybe as a man to say enough is enough. Okay, so this is weekly astrology from January 8th till January 14, 2016. Uh, thank you very much for being uh, here. Please um, subscribe on my channel. Please like and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much. Goodbye.